six of the seven state's executive offices have been or are currently held by women. The first woman to hold a statewide position was Grace Urbans, who finished her husband's Ben's term in the treasurer's office. She was appointed by Governor Ed Jackson and served from 1926 to 1931. Since then, 16 other women have held executive offices in the state of Indiana. Dorothy Gardner was the first female state auditor, taking office in 1960. Other state auditors include Trudy Etherton, Anne DeVore, Connie Nass, Suzanne Crouch, and the current office holder, Tara Klutz. Auditor Klutz is also the first CPA to hold the office of state auditor. She is from Fort Wayne, where previously she was the Allen County Auditor. In 1994, Sue Ann Gilroy became the first woman Secretary of State. The current Secretary of State is Connie Lawson. Secretary Lawson is from Danville and served in the State Senate. Kelly Mitchell from Logansport is our current Treasurer of the State. Besides Grace Urbans, the Office of Treasurer has been held by Marjorie O'Loughlin and Joyce Brinkman. The position of Attorney General has been filled by Pamela Lynn Carter from 1993 to 1997 and by Karen Marie Freeman Wilson in 2000 and 2001. Dr. Jennifer McCormick, the current Superintendent of Public Instruction, comes from Newcastle. She was preceded by Dr. Sue Ellen Reed in 1993 and Glenda Ritz in 2013. Four women have held office as the Indiana Lieutenant Governor. The first was Kathy Davis, who served with Governor Joseph Kernan. Becky Skillman served with Mitch Daniels. Sue Ellsberman served with Mike Pence. Our current Lieutenant Governor, Suzanne Crouch, serves with Governor Eric Holcomb. They took office in 2017. Lieutenant Governor Crouch is from Evansville.